<laughs> they have not. Chick a what? <laughs> anyway, I have here for starters a graduated cylinder filled with uh, distilled water. And to it, I'm going to add a little bit of universal Ooh. indicator. And you'll notice that it has a green color. On the other side now, too. indicators um, change color uh, in the presence. <laughs> Quiet, please. <laughs> Indicators change color in the presence of an acid or a base. Uh, green happens to be the color they are. Uh, the indicators are when neutral. Uh, and universal indicator is really just a mixture of several different indicators. Uh, so if I add a base to this, oh, that's it'll cool. change color. Oh, wow. I want to drink it. No. You do not want to drink any acids or base or any chemical ever from But what if you got a bag? It would still be hazardous. It should be hazardous. So anyway, so right now we have a very dark purple color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of dry ice. As the dry ice bubbles in there, it will form an acid. Anyone know what kind? Hydrox. Um, <laughs> some kind of hydroxide. Not sparkling grape juice. Carbonic acid. Carbonic acid, which is dissolved carbon dioxide, and acids will neutralize bases when, by the process, we'll be creating a neutral solution in here, followed by a acidic solution in here, which will change the color of our indicator. Back to green? No, even back to red. Blue, blue right now. To red. Teal, that is cool. From purple into a blue or a back teal to green. into green. To yellow. Yeah, yellow. There we hit the end of the base, get red. and now we're into it's the red. acid range. And if I drop in a large piece, we can force it way into the acid range. I'll splash a little bit there, no big deal. Except for the carcinogen. <laughs> Looks like one of them. It's like it's gonna oh, orange. It's red. It is splattering a little. Now, this won't go quite to red because carbonic acid is not a strong acid. Um, but if I pour off the liquid, carbonic acid isn't strong enough. He's a trained professional. He's built up a resistance to carbonic acid carbonic in the years. Carbonic acid pop. He actually drinks it. Thanks. Every day. He said it was about four times a day. Four? Four Dr. Peppers a day? About. Yes! <laughs> I wish I would see you. Oh, you five, actually what right. But I can reverse the process as well. If I add base back in there, we can reverse the process. Oh, sweet. Well, Obviously, it didn't add enough. Colors. Or so I didn't get green. quite enough into the basic range. I don't know if I have enough base to totally neutralize the acid into the back base. We'll see if we can. You got it. No green, blue. Not quite. I got it into the blue range. I want to get it all the way into the purple. Too wet. Oh, you want to go all the way purple? I can. I thought you were going to go. Nice. Nice. You need a longer stir, Mr. Zollinger. I do. I don't have one. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if I then <laughs> slide that large chunk of dry ice into there, back boy, the back it goes again. So this is you just trying to waste a bunch of chemicals, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is Mr. Sully having fun. Do any demo I am not allowed to do later by doing that. <laughs> Exactly. In other words, yes, Alex, to your question.